Today I'm going to go over my favourite and least favourite mountain bike product from the last decade. Let's start with the positive bit. My favourite product from the last decade is in fact this New Zealand Trail Fund riding top. Now, it's my favourite for a lot of reasons. One of them is that the profits made from it go into rebuilding trails or building trails, which gives us all somewhere extra to ride, so I'm happy for them to make extra money. The other reason is it's a really robust top, it's been good in summer and winter, and I really have no complaints about it. Quite often I lose a bit of stitching on my tops. These ones, I've got three or four of them, come in a good few different colours, and they're always pretty strong. Uh, I've used them for everything from road cycling to uh, big mountain biking trips to racing enduro in, and they've been great. So this is my favourite product from the last decade. Now before I go any further, I should mention that there are other companies who like to donate some of their profits to mountain biking projects, and one of them is based just down there, is Ground Effect Clothing. Now, those guys are awesome and they make some really cool stuff as well, so try to support companies that do that sort of thing. It makes a big difference to how many trails we've got to ride, and it's well worth it. So on to the worst product. Let's see if you can guess what it is. This product is only there on your bike to make your bike more reliable. It's not one of those tire insets like a Kushcore. Nope. It is in fact a chain device. Or chain guide or whatever you want to call them. And it's probably the only product that I have ever used that's given me an actual emotional reaction because I hate it so much. So here it is. The worst product I've ever seen in the last decade possibly ever. It's this E13 TRS Plus chain device and it was released in 2015. Now you can have a look at the, this is, this is the Chain Reaction website page for it, um, where it gets one star and every single review says that it's terrible that the clip pops open. Now I'll, I'll, I'll just do it the, the easy way and let you, let you see this. So this little clip here pops open every single time you don't want it to. Uh, the idea behind the clip was basically so that people could take their chain out if they didn't want to use tools. So I guess if they had a really high, if, if they were maybe on the one in 10,000 bikes that has a high chain stay that goes over the top of the chain um, so that the chain doesn't need to be opened anyway to get it out. Um, I, don't know, I can't really think of any real good reason why you would want to have your chain device be able to open without tools but I can think of a good reason why you wouldn't want a chain device that wasn't reliable because there's no point to it if it isn't reliable. The whole point of this thing is to make sure that your bike's reliable. So it's probably the absolute worst design I've ever encountered for a chain device. No, not probably, it's definitely that. Uh, and I would put a, a chocolate teapot's use here and this about here because you can at least eat a nice chocolate teapot. Whereas this thing, break your teeth if you tried to eat it, it, um, it, it's terrible. I had two bikes where this device came as standard and both of them I had warranty claims on them. Uh, they popped open quite regularly. I probably lost a chain almost every single ride uh, and they lasted maybe two or three shots before the clip popped off at the wrong time and caught on my sock or my foot or whatever and popped off and just disintegrated. So they're they're terrible. Um, the, the newer version of all the E13 guides appears to have taken this uh, terrible piece of design away uh, and I hope that it's never ever returns. So there you go, my favourite product from the last decade being this New Zealand Trail Fun top and my least favourite product from the last decade being this E13 TRS Plus chain guide um, from 2015 and I think it continued for a couple of years after that but it was terrible. It's the one with a little aluminium clip that pops open whether you want it to or not. Um, I even tried gluing some of them shut actually. I've tried gluing them shut, I've tried using the sticker that came with them, putting extra adhesive on that plus gluing them shut and that was the only way I could get it to not open when I wanted it to stay shut. So basically you have to completely disable the, um, the clip that is meant to be easy opening in order for it to work at all. Don't buy one, just throw them in the bin if you get them. Thanks for watching, see you later.